41 NBC News at Daybreak. The state Senate District 20 seat opened up when Ross Tolleson decided to retire. Six people are running for the position, including Brooks Kiesler, who joins us this morning. So thank you so much for being on early for us, right? <laughs> sure, thank you for having us. No, my kids are up right now watching, so it's not too early. <laughs> Love you guys. Yeah, so. no, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Well, Brooks, obviously a big election coming up, and this is something that um, you decided to do um, a while back. Why do you think you are best qualified to do this? Because there's a lot of people that want to do this. That's a great question. So there are, there are six good candidates in this election. And how wonderful for our community that six people are willing to step up and be a voice to serve our, our district. The reason I feel that I'm the best is I actually have a plan for how to make a difference for our community. I'm an education, um, I'm an executive vice president for an educational technology company. And our educators need a voice in Atlanta. Uh, they're burning out so quickly. I travel across the country and I talk with teachers and the more and more we hear is they're tired. They're tired when their passion should be to teach our children to learn and they're constantly having to teach to a test or teach to a new standard and teach to various things like that. I want to go to Atlanta and change our aggressive standardized testing. I want to fight for our teachers because they work for us day in and day out tirelessly so I want to be the voice for them. Now, Brooks, you actually have some pretty big shoes to fill. Definitely. And um, <laughs> as with any of the candidates, I mean, if they were to be elected, it would be a, a big position to fill. Sure. What are some of those programs that you saw Tolleson already starting and creating that you admired, or what are some of the things that you would like to change? Sure. So Senator Tolleson was phenomenal for our district, without question. Uh, our prayers definitely go out to him and his family for the situation. You know, he did so much for, for our community. The biggest challenge that the new person stepping in is going to have is being a voice in Atlanta. The reason I feel that I will is because of my experience in education. Also, both of my grandfathers retired in, uh, at Robbins Air Force Base in the military. So I'm fighting for our military and for our veterans. And I also believe strongly in economic development within our community. So I, again, he put us on the right path and I believe that I'm the right voice to continue that path for our district. And Brooks, this is a big decision for you and your family. Is there anything yeah. that you learned about yourself so far here on the campaign trail? I know it can be a big thing. Sure, great question. Yeah, it's been a whirlwind. You know, it, uh, the election's two weeks from tomorrow. One thing I've learned is how much family I have. You know, my wife, my children obviously, my mother, my grandparents, my sister that have all been there working for me. But because I was raised in middle Georgia, I have the middle Georgia family who are calling me, hey, can we knock on doors for you? How can we campaign for you? What can we do for you? And it's been kind of a, a, a reaffirmation of why I'm doing this, to be a voice, to be, it's my voice because that's the community that raised me. It's been wonderful. Absolutely. And, and how can people get connected with you real quick before we have to wrap up? Sure, great question. So brookskeesler.com, B-R-O-O-K-S-K-E-I-S-L-E-R.com. You can reach out to me via Facebook. Uh, and we'd love to have your help. Again, the election's only two weeks from tomorrow. Early voting has actually already begun. So this has been a lot of fun. There's a debate tomorrow evening at 6 p.m., so we're looking forward to that. And come, you know, see the six candidates. See who you would like to be your voice in Atlanta. Absolutely. All right, well, thank yeah. you so much, Brooke. Thank you, guys. We appreciate, appreciate it. it. You can catch this interview and all the information that you need about the debate tomorrow, things like that. It's going to be all online on our website, 41NBC.com. That's right. Stay with us. We'll be back with more Daybreak in just two minutes.